Hey guys, it's David DeFranco from GearPop.com. Just minutes ago, Sony wrapped their keynote announcing the PlayStation 4. Yes, it is official. That is the official name. Thank you, Sony, for keeping it simple. I was worried about them using some weird name like PlayStation Vita. Not that that's a horrible name. I just would have rather them called that little portable console the PSP2. That's just my opinion. But the point is, I'm really glad they just kept, uh, you know, with the numbers game. PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4. Props. All right, so with that aside, let's talk about the PlayStation 4, what it is and what it's going to mean for this holiday 2013, which, yes, was officially announced. We don't have an official release date, like an exact release date, but I could pretty much guarantee you we will see it mm, mid-November 2013 for about $400. That's my prediction, so when it does happen, be sure to come to this video and say, David, you are right, or David, you suck, you are wrong. All right, so Sony did spend at least an hour showing off games from all kinds of developers. We uh, got a preview of a brand new Killzone, which looks actually pretty friggin' amazing. We got a preview of Watch Dogs for the PS4, which looks awesome. And we got tons of other previews. I am not gonna focus on them too much because you can easily go to YouTube, obviously you're there already, just search PlayStation 4 games and you can watch all the videos to your heart's content. This video's main purpose is to focus on what was announced in terms of hardware and what we'll see in terms of physically see in our hands come this holiday 2013. All right, I'm obviously tripping over my own words. Let's just go by my notes here. I do have my notes uh, because like I said, this did just end a few minutes ago. All right, so first up is a DualShock 4 that was officially announced, which is awesome. I'm actually really excited about this because it's finally changing the controller design. Now, let me say, I was a huge fan of the original DualShock. I'll never forget playing Test Drive for the first time. It was one of the original games that supported the DualShock controller, you know, with vibration and everything. It was awesome. But then along came the Xbox and the Xbox 360s controllers, and... To this day, the Xbox 360 controller is my favorite controller design of all time. It fits my hands perfectly and it just works the way I want it to. The DualShock 3 slash the 6-axis controller, it's not that it sucks in my opinion, it's just, to me, personally, it always felt too light and too cheapy feeling, that cheap plastic feeling, and I wasn't really a huge fan of the Analog 6 being too close. Maybe it's just me, maybe I just hold it weird. I don't know. But I think it's annoying when doing this, my thumbs actually collide when uh, actually, you know, having the sticks tilted towards one another. Am I alone in that? Or do you guys also share that experience? Anyway, the point is, the DualShock 4 takes the DualShock 3 design, changes a little bit of things here and there, which is always welcome. I'm a big fan of change. I like learning new things. But the biggest feature of all, is definitely the touchpad. This looks awesome. Also built in is a light bar, they're calling it, which apparently identifies the players. Think Xbox 360's Connect. Uh, it reads your face and it knows who you are, which I've always thought is pretty damn cool. Uh, so in theory, I think the PlayStation 4's DualShock 4 controller is gonna do the same thing because it also sends a signal to a stereoscopic camera, I think it's called, on the PlayStation 4's bar. I'm not sure what they call that. So basically think of it as Wii U functionality now in the PlayStation 4. And no, that's not really copying. It's just all consoles are gonna do the same thing no matter what. Uh, I can guarantee you the Xbox 360's next console, Xbox 720, let's just call it that, will have some form of functionality that copies the Wii U and PlayStation 4, but in its own format. Next up is the built-in headphones jack into the DualShock 4. This is pretty cool. Again, think like the Wii U gamepad, but you can hear your game content in headphones using the onboard headphone jack. It's pretty cool. I don't think I'll ever really use it because I personally prefer my uh, 5.1 surround sound and insane bass, but that's just me. And finally, last but certainly not least, the DualShock 4 has a built-in share button. This is pretty freaking Sweet. You guys know me. I love social media. I love showing off gameplay clips and screenshots, and that's exactly what this share button does. Think like the Wii U's functionality of uh, Miiverse, which is pretty cool. Essentially, for those who are not aware, Miiverse allows you to take screenshots of games and post them 
onto the Miiverse message boards and you can have your friends and strangers reply to say, oh, to get past that part, you can do so-and-so and whatever. This is essentially the same thing for the DualShock 4's share button, but better. I mean, this does look much better than the Wii U gamepad's functionality. What it essentially does is it allows you to not only share screenshots, but video clips as well. Apparently it's always recording or you can go back in your history and see what you did, like specifically like five minutes before. Now, I don't know if it's always recording, I shouldn't say that, but I do know it records a certain amount of gameplay that gives you the option of choosing certain segments. It's kind of difficult to explain, you'll just have to go to their website and read all the details. All right, next up, let's get back onto the PlayStation 4 itself, the actual console and its features. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have native PlayStation 3 backwards compatibility. Now, honestly, this isn't a huge deal with me. I've never understood why so many people whine about this sort of thing. Well, maybe it's because they like playing PS1 games on their PS3. That's not me. I mean, if I want to do that, I'll bust out my PS1 and just play it on there. I mean, but then again, it's not a huge deal. However, with that said, the PlayStation 4 will officially support PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation 3 games. But not in the way you're probably thinking. You will not be able to use the physical disc. Apparently, and in theory, you should be able to stream all of your PS1, PS2, and PS3 games via a server. And if there's no lag, and if things feel instant, and, and if things feel native, then I fully welcome this, and this could be actually pretty huge. Now, I'm not sure how you're gonna be able to stream games to the PS4 for games you bought years ago, for instance, the PS1. I mean, is there gonna be some way you can prove that you own a game by scanning the barcode, or putting in some kind of number? Or am I misunderstanding this, and they're expecting you to rebuy all your old PlayStation games and then stream them to the console, not have them locally stored on the hard drive. Some of you are gonna have to clear that up for me. Again, the keynote just ended minutes ago, so all this is kind of foggy to me at the moment. Now this I do know for sure, a brand new feature for the PlayStation 4 is that you can instantly play demos from the PlayStation Network Store. This looks pretty cool. This is huge. I cannot tell you how annoying it is when I'm downloading a demo on the Xbox 360 Wii U or the PS3, and you're just sitting there staring at it like, oh my God, come on. Now apparently, again, in theory, you're gonna hear me say it a lot in this video, in theory, you can play the demos instantly from the PlayStation Network store. Now if this works, that's freaking awesome. I mean, imagine seeing a new demo of Resident Evil so-and-so, and you wanna try it right away. No longer will you have to download the full demo. You can try it right there instantaneously and enjoy it. I really, really hope that's how it works and I hope I'm not getting my hopes up for nothing. I just said hope so many times. But you guys can't blame me for getting excited. I mean, if this works, it's gonna be awesome. And finally, last but certainly not least, staying on the topic of streaming, apparently you can stream your PS4 games to the PlayStation Vita. Again, think Wii U functionality, but in PlayStation 4 form. So say I'm playing Little Big Planet on the PlayStation 4 and somebody has to use my TV. I live by myself, I don't see why that would be the case. But still, let's just pretend for a moment. That person wants to watch TV, maybe they want to watch The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Freaking awesome show. Does anybody else like that? Craig is freaking hilarious. And now while person A is enjoying The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, person B, being me, can stream my game, Little Big Planet, wirelessly plum, from, yeah, plum, that, that, that is a fruit, from the PlayStation 4 to the PlayStation Vita. Now, I don't own a PlayStation Vita, and I don't really ever see myself owning one unless it comes out with some killer feature that I absolutely need, or if I get one sponsored for a review at some point, that would be amazing. But as of right now, I don't see myself buying one. Either way, I gotta say, this is really cool, and I'm really glad to see that Sony is taking a bit of a, a, a card from the Wii U and implementing it in their own way. I just totally see the word implementing weird. And that's that. Those are all the details I have on the PlayStation 4. Obviously, I missed some things here and there. And again, I purposely did not concentrate on the games because so much was announced. I mean, nothing out there that blew my mind, but I gotta say, despite my rant, it wasn't really a rant, that's why I'm quoting, Despite my rants on Facebook and Twitter today, social links right below, describing why it's gonna take a lot to get me excited about the PS4, I gotta say, I'm pretty excited.
Okay, so you're probably wondering why am I even saying that to begin with. Well, it's because I took the time to explain, again, on uh, both Facebook and Twitter, that the PlayStation 3, it's a good console, the hardware is amazing, but it just never really did anything for me like the Xbox 360 does. Guys, I freaking love my Xbox 360. I love the Xbox Live integration, and I love the game library. I just think overall it's the best console we have in today's day and age. That feeling I never really had with the PlayStation 3 except for when I first got it and it's that new feeling. So I'm really, really, really hoping the PlayStation 4 can finally be Sony's console that revives my love for the brand. Because do not get me wrong, I used to play the crap out of my PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2. And I really miss those days. I mean, Microsoft came along and stole my attention from Sony with the original Xbox and the Xbox 360. Both amazing consoles in my opinion. So if Sony can revive my love for that brand and really make the PlayStation 4 something worth having, then please take my love Sony, it's all yours. All right, so with all that said, will I be buying myself a PlayStation 4? Hell yeah, guys. I don't care if it's $300 or $500. I will find the money to buy myself one this holiday season. I don't care if it's a Microsoft console, a Sony console, or a Nintendo console. I will be there on day one, and I just can't imagine missing out on that kind of new experience. So guys, what do you think? Post your comments below regarding the PlayStation 4. Again, keep in mind, there is so much we have not seen or heard yet. I mean, we don't even know the price. We don't even know the official release date. And most important of all to me, because I'm a design freak, I love knowing how a product looks, we still don't even know what the PlayStation 4 looks like. Now, if it's ugly, that's obviously not gonna be a reason for me not to buy one. I mean. If it's ugly, that's something you really can't help. I mean, that's not going to stop me from owning it, but just food for thought. Wow, I don't think I've ever said food for thought in my videos. Hmm, very interesting. All right, guys, again, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your continued support. I really like it. You get it? Click that like button if you did like this video. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you next time.